hello friends how are you today i hope you're doing well i am well myself and i welcome you back uh, to today's uh, lesson and today is a good one on waiting upon god <music> I thank you so much, especially those who are listening, those who have been watching and following our videos. It does seem like we are forming our little gang gang and that is so great. I, I am so blessed to see people who watch and comment every day and just say something even on the community. Whenever I post an encouraging word, I pray for God to bless you and see you through. Uh, anything that you're waiting, anything that you're waiting, uh, you're hoping for, I pray that he brings it to fruition so you can testify and tell God and tell the people what God has done. So on our topic uh, today, waiting, waiting is not easy because, uh, my God, waiting tests your hope, puts you on a test, you know, puts you on a threshing floor, puts you on a waiting post you know and i don't know if you've ever waited <laughs> for someone and felt like you would give up yeah or waited for anything right and you felt like it's taking all of you it's consuming you such that you, your only focus is on that thing people who have come to a place of uh uh, or a season of, of waiting upon something maybe you're waiting and trusting god for a spouse and you feel that you're ready and all your life is focused on just this one thing maybe you're waiting on god for a child you know and you feel like you cannot move on another day until god comes through with that miracle maybe you're waiting for a visa you know perhaps you, like me you've been denied if you've watched my story we were denied three times only to get it on the fourth time and why it's not for this word of god i would have given up I remember watching uh, Febi Idahosa. I don't know if you know him, but you can follow him on IG. He has uh, very good content. And uh, one time he came to our church and he talked about the journey that Isaac took following his father's footsteps and the wells that they had to dig. Um, I didn't know that story before, but when, when I read it, I felt like it was me, you know? And by then, we had been denied visas for three times, yeah? Three times. And uh, one of them even came close to happening, and it did not. And it, it took all my strength, all my hope, all my faith to just keep going, right? And I have to tell you that I've been separated many times, and that was one time also God separated me, such that when I looked around, there was no one who could give me this kind of a breakthrough. You know, there's no one who could make it happen. So it was just me and God, you know, and it was tough, my friend. It was tough, but uh, that action of going back to my prayer closet is what actually kept me going. And it's what also brought in a new season i remember when we were denied the second visa because it was like a study v permit i was looking for or a study uh, visa I, I i said to my husband i cannot continue to live in this house where we were living anymore and that set uh a roller coaster of uh, uh that brought us to a new season let me say and uh it ushered in a season where I had to move from that place. And looking back, I realized God, God's hands on that, was on that situation like this. You know, when it's God's time, ah, man, it's God's bill. And he makes it happen in such a beautiful way. And so we would move from this place that had also been a blessing to another place. Because God works with levels. He will take you from one level to another because that next level is where he will make something happen for you and i remember living in this place uh that i didn't even think uh, i was deserving because i could hardly afford it and just being there the first day um and i've talked about numbers and i'm talking to someone who is waiting on god because you will see some signs and wonders you will see some instructions 
uh, tailor made just for you by God. And these are the things you will look back and realize God was actually talking to me. I could have doubted, but it wasn't so strong like a push. It was a conviction in my heart that I have actually had God and I'm going to act on this. I remember moving in the first day. It was the 12th of 2012. 12th December 2012 so it was 12 12 12 and uh, 12 is a number of completion on a governmental level like on a higher higher level than all other numbers of completion and so it would double even in some instances and you can see God doing more amazing things in certain seasons so if you're following me and you're looking unto God to give you signs, these are some of the things you, to li you should listen to and just put a pin there. You know what I'm saying? So we moved into this place and God said to me, in this place, I will show your enemies that I am with you. And let me tell you, at that time, because of things I had gone through and disappointments, I didn't feel like I was God's favorite. So for, but I had heard him speak many times before and just being on my side when times were so difficult and I had enemies against me, like physically against me and they were not even hiding because they felt that I was at a dis disadvantage. So for me to see or hear God in times that I didn't think he would speak to me because I, I felt like God was for them and not me. And I know I'm speaking to someone who feels like, oh, you have witnessed God just doing wonderful things for people and not you. So you, you're just a survivor. Oh, survive too. Like you're all, only just waking up to live another day and be like, whoa, I am the unlucky one. But then if you look at, at Job, when everything was against him, when he had lost everything, including his children, and his wife stands and says to him, you need to cast God and die because it is the end. At that very end, God comes and speaks to you things that you wouldn't otherwise think to yourself if it was just you. If it was just me in Duta, I wouldn't have found hope sometimes to go on because it was hard. And looking at myself, feeling the weakness that I was feeling, looking at my children and just feeling tears most of the times and feeling disadvantaged and feeling like ah, we, we might we might just get lost in this it was painful but God was with us he was our cover and he saw us through many many times you know I cannot say that I waited, I waited perfectly as it sounds like those who wait upon the Lord he shall renew their strength ah, let us read actually <laughs> Uh, I, I, I know a song that I love that goes like Wangu jaya obwana wata patangu vumpia wata pandaju kwa mabawa Kama tai wata pigambi yo lakini Hawata choka wata tembea kwa migu wala hawata zimia Let's read Isaiah 40 from... 27 to 31 and i want you to know that god is for you it doesn't matter how it looks it doesn't matter what you have done we will talk about repentance and i will tell you exactly why people repent because so many times you fall and it's not just you you're falling because of the many times your people have fallen before you and yet god has chosen you to break some chains that have always uh, been in your family, testing them, and some have failed. You have failed in some things, but God is saying no more. I will help you so that you accomplish my purposes for me. So come into agreement with God. Say right now that I am the one. I am the one who is called for this mission, and God will help you and see you through be like these people who wait you know who believe believe in those small small things believe in those little things that you hear those who wait upon the lord he shall renew their strength be the one that says even i lord can wait even i am willing to wait and you will see him do 
great and marvelous things so we are going to read two chapters today uh this is cha isaiah chapter 4 40 uh i've been uh, in a week where i've been speaking that english of 40 um isaiah 40 27 to 31 and we will also read psalms 27 and it goes oh lord oh jacob how can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? Oh Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall into exhaustion. But those who wait, those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and go and not they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. How amazing is that? So Job said, uh there is hope for a tree that when it is cut down it will sprout again at the scent of water it will sprout again and its shoots will not fail there is hope for a tree that is cut down that at the scent of water it will sprout again and its shoots will not will not fail i don't know if you've ever seen a dry tree with like a branch coming out a new branch like so new it even shows and it makes you wonder has that tree just smelled some water is that new hope is that a new season god is bringing you to a new season and let me tell you his plan over your life will not fail because you no matter what you think of yourself have a purpose to accomplish you are the one who is called for this particular thing you're doing for this particular path you're walking on and no one can fit quite like you you know you are special in god's eyes and he will do what he plans to do in your life i want us to read psalms 27 and it it will enhance your faith upon or about waiting uh it says the lord is my light and my salvation so why should i be afraid so let's repeat again psalms 27 the Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger, so why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I'm attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house all the in in the house of the lord all the days of my life delighting in the lord's perfections and meditating in his temple for he will conceal, conceal me there when for he will conceal me there when trouble comes he will hide me in his sanctuary he will place me out of reach on a rock on a high rock he will place me out of reach on a high rock then i will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me at his sanctuary i will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy singing and praising the lord with music hear me as i pray O lord be merciful and answer me my heart has heard you come and talk with me and my heart responds lord i am coming do not turn your back on me do not reject your servant in anger you have always been my helper don't leave me now don't abandon me O oh god of my salvation even if my father and mother abandon me the lord will, will hold me close teach me how to live O oh lord lead me along the right path for my enemies are waiting for me do let me, do not let me fall into their hands for they accuse me of things i've never done with every breath they threaten me with violence yet i am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. And that is my message for you guys today. Um, 
I know many are waiting and I ju I'm just thankful for those who have reached out to me even on my IG uh, you know you know yourselves and I'm so thankful because that encourages me you know look at the number of subscribers where we are at now we do need encouragement and i'm thanking everyone who is being touched and just hitting on that subscribe button since i announced that we are at 600 so many more people have uh, have come we have like 21 more subscribers and i'm so grateful i urge you to just believe i you, you see that psalms 27 i have lived that experience of being placed on a higher rock being separated and you think oh my god what is happening why am i re being removed from these people people who have no good plan for you people who do not think good thoughts for you and god separates you because his plans cannot be thwarted his plans over your life cannot fail because of a person so he brings you up and david had many of these experiences he brings you up to a higher place he separates you and let me tell you there will be tears involved because you're like i do not have friends at this place and i have to tell you because i have lived this experience if you're right now experiencing that and you're like i have no one to talk to i have no friends and in many places even when you try i do not pass the vibe check <laughs> i like i like the language uh p people are using nowadays young people especially you do not pass the vibe check but god is so keen on using you for his purposes god is so keen on using you because he knows your heart he knows that you can answer his call when he calls you to do something that may seem difficult to other people have you ever seen people who cut people off and they're like i cannot forgive that one but you come into agreement many times and you're like guy even this one god you want to you want me to forgive you want me to try again you want me to step into that position again he knows you can go back and forth for him he knows you can obey he knows you can listen he knows you can come down when you needed to come down that contrite heart that broken heart is what god is looking for not sacrifice and that's why i tell you many times even in this journey even when you feel like ah kuna kampango we can raise this money and give it look god is not in that because god does not make his ways like that his ways are not our ways he says in psalms 55 come you who is hungry come you who do not have money to buy and he, he, he is calling you to get all these things for free. So you will not have to give your money. You will not have to make sacrifices. Not of blood. Not of money. He is asking you. And when it is time to make a sacrifice. Because God partners with other people. He calls you. He places you in places. Somebody will serve you and not feel the pain. You know. He takes you to a place where you will. Your eyes. Your heart. Your mind your ears will be quickened to a word that somebody is speaking and you just know that this is my word those people you may have to go back and make a sacrifice to it will not hurt because god will provide do you understand what i'm saying if you don't right now you're going to understand it in your journey that is why i'm not afraid so listen to what god is saying in this time it is in that closet it is in that prayer prayer closet it is in those quiet moments it is in those times that he's calling you quiet moments of the night he's calling you to talk to him and come into agreement with him that he will give you instructions it will be beautiful because it will be you and him and you'd rather be you and him so many times than be in a multitude of people who don't care about you look people are good god is calling you for these people like he called moses but wasn't it hard to read the, to lead that crowd it will take agreement it will take his strength it will take his power within you and that's why he's calling you so he can install these things in you and one day you will understand and you will say it was good that i was afflicted that i may learn your decrees subscribe and see you on the next one baraka tele